Roald Dahl was an extremely famous author, but before he became an author, he fought in World War II. He wrote an autobiography called Going Solo about how he fought in World War II. First, he took a boat ride to Africa because he had to work for a company called Shell, which was a very successful shipping company in Africa. He was offered a house with many servants to live in and stay there for the time being. The job offered him a position in which he had to fight in World War II. He took a plane to Egypt and there he learned how to fly a plane of his own so that he could get to Greece. When he was driving it, although it, the plane fell down and crashed, and he had a fractured skull and he was blind for a few days. After he recovered from the injury, he flew by himself to Greece and met someone named David Cook. David Cook taught him a bit more about the combat with planes, and eventually they learned their team only had 15 planes, while the other team, the Nazis, had about 500. When Roald Dahl went out on his first airplane, he didn't know what to do, and he aimed for a group of six bombers while he was only one plane. He took down one and successfully made it. He made a many, many more flights and took down countless planes. Germany found out about where their camp was, so then they found an island off the coast that they hurried and brought all their belongings to. And they stayed at that camp, but the next day Germany found out about that one too. They made a plan to get away and it was successful. Roald Dahl left to tell the story. Out of the 15 planes that were originally there, and the 15 people that were there to drive the plane, only about four survived. What can be taken away from this book is that when you're trying to do something and something gets in the way, just find a way around it. An example of this from the book is when Roald Dahl fractures his skull by crashing his plane. They tell him that he can just return back home, but instead he goes back to fight in the war.